Word of the Day is a ministry of New Grace Baptist Church in Roanoke, Virginia. Matthew 6, verse number 9. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Of course, this is still the first part of what is known as the Lord's Prayer. and We're, we're kind of looking at that and seeing really the template of prayer that Jesus gives us in Matthew chapter 6 and also in Luke chapter 11. And the first thing he says that when we pray, after we uh, recognize our relationship with God and we pray to our Father, he says our second prayer should be, Hallowed be your name. Now the word hallowed means to keep pure, to keep holy. Now how do we, we keep the name of God pure? How do we keep the name of God holy? He already is pure. He already is holy. And so the prayer isn't a prayer that God remain pure or God remain holy because he he can do nothing but remain pure and holy. What it is is a prayer for God's name to be holy and pure and glorified in our eyes and through our lives. You know, when when you think about what he's really talking about here, think about, about gold. Pure gold is 24 karat gold. You, you can't make it any purer. You can't make it 26 carat. You can't make it 28 carat. 24 carat gold is as pure as you can possibly get. So like gold, you cannot make God's name any more pure, but you can dilute it. You can make gold 20 carat, 14 carat, 12 carat. You can make it less pure. And that's what we can do with God's name. We can't make it more pure because God's as pure as he's ever going to be, but we can dilute it. We can make it less pure. And how do we do that? We do that with the way we live and the way we view the Word of God. You know, we, we know what the Bible says about things, but when we choose to ignore God's commands and live our life the way we want to, we are we are diluting the name of God. We know the Bible says that we are to love our enemies. But when we choose to only love our allies, we're diluting the word of God. We know the Bible says that godliness with contentment is great gain. But when we live like great gain is possession is contentment, great gain brings us joy, we're diluting the word of God. We know the Word of God says that we are to be used by Him to build His kingdom and to get the gospel to every creature. But when we live in such a way that we are building our kingdom and we are not caring about getting the gospel to the lost and dying world, we are diluting the holiness and the purity of the Word of God. It's not enough just to know what the Bible says. To hallow the name of God, we have to obey and live what the Bible says. Thanks so much for joining us for our word of the day. Be sure to be back here next Tuesday as we continue studying the Lord's Prayer. Have a blessed day. For more information about New Grace Baptist Church, visit our website at www.reachingroanoke.com.